What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are eating some quesabiria crunch wraps. Not really supreme style. It's more in a cheesy gordita crunch style because I was going to make birria cheesy gordita crunches. Hence the cheesy gordita crunch sauce, which really is Baja sauce, but they changed the name to Spicy Ranch and it tastes exactly the same. This is my second time shooting the eating portion of this video and I actually had to shoot the making of the birria twice as well. I had a very unfortunate incident happen with uh, one of my memory cards and I lost two videos, uh, one full promotional video, and then the eating portion of this, I actually had a full other video on there, but I had transferred it off of the memory card to send to editors because I am finally hiring out for my editing, which is just going to be amazing. I love hiring people to give me more time. It's the best. So these are admittedly a little dark today, but I'm actually not mad about it at all. I love it because it's gonna be extra, extra crunchy. Once you get that really dark caramelization, it just means more delicious flavor. So totally fine with it all. So inside of here, we have some Oaxaca cheese on the bottom, some of our delicious birria meat mixed with some of the consomme. We've got a consomme fried corn tortilla on top of that, that's the crunch inside of the crunch wrap. Then I've got a big handful of chopped onions and cilantro, so none of the typicals, none of the lettuce, tomato, well, we've got onion, but none of the lettuce, tomato, sour cream situation, and instead we've got the cheesy gordita crunch. Inside, I've got a side of it over here, we've got a side of consomme, and we've got some limes which I can tell you like all of this together is just one of the best things that I have ever made. Possibly one of the best things I've ever eaten as far as just like, oh, stick to your ribs, comfort, deliciousness. Oh, I've got a Sauvignon Blanc here, New Zealand per use. This is Oyster Bay from Marlboro. Can I believe Marlboro? I love how citrusy, acidic, bright, juicy they are. I'm just, I love them. I don't really like any other white wine, so you won't really see me drink <laughs> any other white wine. Unless I'm really convinced to. I'm not even like a rosé fan. Anyways, guys, I am just so extra ready to get into this. I know it looks really dark, but it looks so good at the same time. Oh, gonna do a little dipsy dip in the pool of consomme. Oh. All right, guys. Cheers. Off to a great start. I think the first bite is gonna be the messiest. Should be a little bit better now that we've broken into it. But now I want some of the Baja sauce too, which is literally like the best sauce ever. If you guys haven't had a cheesy gordita crunch, first of all, you need to have one. And when you do, ask for extra sauce, not the sauce packets. Spicy Ranch is what they call it now. And it is so good, creamy, tangy, a little spicy. All right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You know, maybe I like secretly like destroyed that memory card so that I could refill this subconsciously or whatever.
Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to wipe my face every single time, aren't I? So as I was saying before, originally I had planned to do cheesy gordita crunches, beautia style. However, I was having a really hard time keeping the birria or the quesabiria taco shell crunchy while having the flour tortilla with the melted cheese wrapped around the outside of it. If you eat it like right when it's ready, it works. Like it's still crunchy and it is like, oh my God, guys. It is so amazing. It's got all of the same flavors just in like a different vessel. Mm. I know it's on my face again. P.S. I got a new hat. TikTok sent it to me. It says creator on the front and TikTok on the back. They sent me a mug and a sweatshirt too, which I love. And they both say main character energy, which I am like fully obsessed with. I'm so glad that I stuck to the classic flavors, except for the Baja sauce, spicy ranch, whatever. It just tastes so much like a quesadilla taco. It's that little extra zing. I didn't want the filler of the lettuce and the tomato and the sour cream, because that's what it feels like it would have been. I've seen other people do Birria crunch wraps and most of them are holding true to that supreme style adding all of that stuff I don't know. It just doesn't feel like a true birria experience To me with all that other stuff So I almost forgot to tell you guys, the Birria recipe is not mine. It is from Cooking with Cocktail Rings. Kylie is the blogger's name behind that page slash website. So obviously nice to support a fellow blogger. And I had read some comments on the recipe saying that it was really authentic, which is obviously what I wanted. And I'm not sure if I'm the best person to be speaking about authenticity with Birria tacos, but I can at least tell you that it is so flavorful, so delicious, and really not that difficult to put together. It's just a little time consuming. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I'm going to start losing things in the sauce. So, some feedback I wanted to give on some things that happened to me during the process of cooking this a couple of times. So the first thing that I recommend is to have a nonstick skillet to fry your corn tortilla that you've dipped in the consomme. I had some trouble with it sticking to another skillet the last time I made it. I was trying it on my cast iron, but I think I need to re-season it because it was sticking in a few different places. So a cast iron works as long as it's well seasoned and non-stick. I ended up using some new non-stick pans that I just got Shane for our anniversary. They're like the green pan brand, I wanna say. Obviously a gray color, it's got like this diamond technology. I have no idea, but I did a pretty good job on these. It actually cooked them, got them darker than I was expecting. They really heat up and stay hot. So the other thing is, I'm sure you've noticed that I have a third tortilla that I placed in the center of my crunch wraps and folded the larger tortilla around it. That's because the large tortilla I bought, which said they were burrito sized, were not large enough to cover the full surface area of the middle. It works fine either way, but if you want the outsides to kind of come all the way in without having to use that third tortilla, get the largest flour tortilla that you can find or just make smaller crunch wraps. You make like little mini crunch wrap supremes. I've seen people do it before and they're just extra, extra cute. These would be so fun to make for the Super Bowl, which is coming up. You know, it didn't occur to me, even though I was refilming this, to go and get some Trader Joe's Limeade for a Trader Joe's Margarita. I wanted one the last time I filmed. I talked about it in the video, and then I just completely forgot to go and get some. To me, this is like the wine equivalent to a margarita, though. It is getting the job done. All right, let's go with this little guy. It's a little. Many napkins.
So also wanted to mention that I did have some trouble when I first started putting these together the first time. The first time I made these, I had the worst time trying to dip the corn tortilla in the consomme and make it to the frying pan before it started to fall apart. So if that happens to you, just know there is maybe a little bit of a learning curve. I don't know what other reason it would have been happening to me. It didn't happen today at all. Um, so it may have to do with the temperature of the consomme when you dip it in. I wouldn't dip it in to like a boiling consomme situation. Mm -hmm. I need to show you guys the inside of this thing. Just gorgeous. <laughs> May have stolen that little bitty from the pasta queen. Who I love, by the way, even though I'm sure she's hated on my content before. I love her recipes. I love how completely extra she is, how super dramatic she is. I love that she like names her dishes, these like ridiculous things. It's just part of the appeal of her channel, really. I absolutely love Italian food. Just like classic Italian food, American Italian food, like Italian Italian food. I love it all. It's so amazing. I know I get a little bit of hate from Italians sometimes because I try some deviations from classic Italian recipes and I name them the dish that they are at least similar to or that they were derived from because it's what people recognize. It's what people are most familiar with terminology wise. Um, so I'm going to get a lot of hate, but at the end of the day, I have nothing but love for Italy, their food, Italians, just like, thank you to all of you. Mm. I absolutely love in the birria, in the consomme, that there was that bouquet garni that we added with the cinnamon stick and the clove. I absolutely love those warm spices in savory preparations like this. It's not like in your face cinnamon. You can just kind of see it there in the background and it adds so much warmth and depth to the flavor of this. I am really slowing down now. Maybe one, maybe two. 
more bites and then I'm gonna have to call it. And I'm telling you, this is without a doubt one of the best things that I've ever made. Obviously, credit goes to Kylie of Cooking with Cocktail Rings for the beauty recipe. This application though, so different, especially with this Baja sauce. It was one of my go-to drunk meals in college, in high school, it was one of my go-to fast food items. Probably also a drunk meal too. Sorry, mom. I'm gonna have a date with my couch after this. Oh my gosh, guys, it's so good. It's so good. Man, oh man. All right, just one more, one more. Man, I am full. That was so worth it though, so worth it. This is like the ultimate version of this too. Viria has like taken the internet by storm. It is so trendy, so popular. Everyone's making Viria and to put it in a crunch wrap, it just seems unfair. It just seems unfair how good it is. Obviously the crunchiest right when they're done. So if you can try to eat them right when they're finished cooking, that will just be the best the crunchiest oh my gosh guys I not gonna lie I was not excited about having to do another eating video for these but here I am just kind of happy that I got to do it again because they're so flippin' good guys seriously and crunch wraps they might seem difficult to put together but they're so not the most difficult part to me was making sure that it stayed folded when you put it face down into the pan, which you want to do obviously so you can seal those edges. That way when you flip it over, it will all stay put. I had a little bit of difficulty the first time that I cooked them, trying to get it in the pan without like unfolding, but this time I had less trouble. Practice makes perfect. Thank you guys so much for joining today. You guys are amazing. I know you don't always know what goes on, behind the scenes with me. Just know that I am always trying to put out content for you guys regularly. Good quality content, things I think you're really going to enjoy seeing, creative things that you might not be seeing anywhere else. So thank you guys so much for taking some of the time out of your day, your very precious and valuable time and dedicating some of it to me.
Thank you so much to Kylie with Cooking with Cocktail Rings. This friggin' birria recipe, man. I love it. I love it. This will not be the last time that I make it. I'm actually, because I had to make a double batch, have a couple other recipes in mind that I won't do right away and they won't all be mukbangs. But between here and my TikTok channel, you will be able to see everything. Might have a case of birria grilled cheese that I want to do. Maybe a Oh my gosh, how good would that be? It would be so good. Link to Cooking with Cocktails Birria recipe is in the description of the video so that you guys can make that for yourself and then make this for yourself. I will give the description of how I created the crunch wrap after the birria was made in the description of the video as well. Comment below what you guys thought about this video. Are you guys gonna make this yourselves? I mean, you really, really, really should. Comment below other fast food dishes that you wanna see me either just like make classic versions of at home or you wanna see me like do a unique spin on of. Anyways, guys, I literally can't speak the amount of times that I've jumbled over my words during this mukbang. I don't know what my deal is today, but I am going to just go ahead and stop now. <laughs> I am clearly done. I'm done. Thank you all so much again for watching today, and I will see you guys next time.